Hello, everybody, and welcome to Demon's Run number three, Dwarf Team. We have Zweihard <laughs> from Dyson with Death leading a group of dwarves to defend this most recent crystal. I'm assuming you're familiar with the premise of this campaign, so I won't bother reintroducing it. Uh, but we will introduce our players, starting with Zweihard, the leader of dwarves. Hello. Uh, well met. I am Ryan, <laughs> aka Hobgoblin. Today I will be playing Zweihard Blacksteel, uh, master craftsman, cleric of Sayor, decked out in his mithril battle armor and ready to kick some demon ass. Excellent, excellent. And after Zweihard, we have Sigmund. Well met. I am 2D Salter. You would have seen me around chat. I've been in no other shows except uh, Legend of Iaco, mm -hmm. which they'll kill yes. me in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little added important detail. Uh, next, we have Brimstone. Hello, I'm Crazy Kille, and I'll play Dwarf Albadrian number one today. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And Binky? Uh, I'm Mr. Mooton, and I'm excited to be here. And Horstag. Uh, hi, I'm Sean. Uh, I'm the one who came up with this weird plan uh, that we're now <laughs> executing by via community. Uh, but today I'm I'm Horstag, the very tired dwarf. Uh, I'm here to kill a bunch of demons. And last but not least, we have Redbeard. Hi, I'm Nick, uh, and I'm playing Redbeard, who is from a long line very angry and pissed off dwarves so he's a regular dwarf <laughs> yes and he's gonna fuck up some demons excellent now my moderators would kill me if i didn't mention this at the start of the show there is a clip of the month contest going on there's an announcement about it in the discord and on the reddit you should take a look at that because there are some giveaways associated with it i don't want to take up too much time with that but you should take a look and hopefully this will produce some interesting clips in addition to the clip this we'll shit in Clip addition to that, we'll just meta game it. It's fine. This is probably the best clip of the game so far. <laughs> but let's do it. Um, so here you are on your battlefield. We're going to zoom out a little bit so we can get a view of what the hell is going on here. You guys are defending this crystal way over here from this large army of demons way down here. And they're coming for you. So, without further ado, why don't we have one of you roll for the party, and we'll do initiative, and we'll start this game. Um, let our great leader do it. Yep. Sure, I will. Uh, before I start, we will have prepped steel skins on two of us. Myself and who is who is our volunteer for frontline fighters. It's I'm one of the shield dwarves, right? Yep. Binky yeah, will do it. It's Binky. All right, so let me roll my... Steel so skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh yeah, I'll roll my initiative. Steel skin is D4 plus three. So these are your number of charges of steel skins. Actually, yeah. What does it do, right? Four on me. <laughs> four. Oh god, it's bad. Uh they soak damage on the first four hits. Alright. Is uh, it like stone skin? All damage? Uh I'll remind you when it's when it happens. Uh it redu it depends on the type of damage. Um, it like how reduces do I roll? like two damage or something every time you get hit by like being faced or something. And an eight. We slow. Oh. Okay. Well, the demons will go first. And from your perch in these towers and on your steps. Is everyone settled somewhere? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is all six of you. Uh, you can see that the first demons up are a pack of thungs, these very dog-like critters. And they've got an open field, so they can bolt. Uh, they can go 140 yards, which is 420 feet. Is that right? I think so. Uh, if they take massive AC penalties. Yeah, they're running, so they'll have AC penalties of one. Um, so they will all bolt on up here, and I'll put them in their actual positions. Uh, they start running Ooh. up 
to this area. Wait, wait, is this like just charge mechanics or is this like a proper run? Because that's This is a, that's a proper full-fledged run. run. It's, it's a bigger penalty than one in that case because yeah. the AD&D yep. rules, so charging is like being less careful, but a run is like you're not paying any attention to any attacks coming your way. Yeah, um, sure. It's not really. Uh, can look up the actual penalty. Thing. Yeah, charging would be 1.5 times their combat movement. Yeah, running for... is three time or whatever. It was like it's, it's like three two times, to five their times their their yards movement. Yeah, and so... I think it's like minus two or minus four to AC or something. But... Prob yeah. Probably two. If anyone has an exact ruling on this, that'd be great. Uh, I think we'll just say running. optional rule. Uh, let's see, Constitution check. We're already looking it up in the book. <laughs> Rule lowering time, guys. Else. This is this is proper two E faction right here. Let's <laughs> one monster. Yeah. <laughs> and the players are already like, I can't run that far. <laughs> uh, let's see. In doing so, Hugh suffers a minus one penalty to his chance of being surprised, plus one bonus of others to surprise him. Minus three penalty for each round of running at quintuple speed. Penalties are cumulative. That's for con checks, right? Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. Shit, where's the AC? Bit? I don't think it actually exists. I mean, I agree it's... with you on the, the notions, but yeah, I don't think it, that... Yeah, because it does specifically say... Because this is intended for, like, chase mechanics. Um... Well, I think if charge is minus one and it's 1.5 times your walking speed, then having a run, which is twice your, three times your walking speed be twice as uh, bad for you, makes sense. So we can say minus two to AC. Unless someone can find a, a page I'll run. find it in a sec, but I don't think it matters. Mm. It's not going to match the last turn anyway, Neil, so... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My, minus two sounds fine to me. I'm just going to keep going with the other We, we got an extra one, boys. Let's <laughs> <laughs> can't find this lawyer. passage. I'm just going to start running all the time. I don't think it exists. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. All right. Then our gatebreakers will waddle in this direction, uh -oh. uh, taking their time. There are two of these big horned, mean-looking creatures with gaseous fumes coming out of their nose. Um, and then a whole pack of demons. We'll come to here, but they'll split. So we'll do some of you, and some of you. And then a, a group of toadies will do their very best to keep up with everything, um, running at full speed to get literally anywhere. Yep, that's about as fast as far as they can go at full speed. And in the back is their commander, a demon wearing heavy armor and a shield. Um, yes, who will be hiding near one of these clusters of warriors. I think God, probably... scared. They're acting as his uh, sh living shields. You can't hide from me, commander. Then we will go to the player's turn. All right, PCs. Sayor sees all, but you won't for long. Uh, I'll go ahead and start and uh, cast a light spell in the eyes of the commander. Ooh, he needs to uh, make a... what distance are you from the commander? Uh, I was just measuring the spell range should be 120 yards, I believe. Let me double check. I think that'll cover this entire field. And yeah, he uh, just that moved. will he... Yep, 120 yards. He just moved within range. Okay. Nice. Um, I don't think he'll have any penalties, so I think it's just a straight saving throw spell. Fucking hacks. <laughs> What's the hacks. duration of light? Forever. Right. Forever. Forever. <laughs> I feel like that we need to nerf the secondary, like the the blinding aspect of it should not be light? two hours. Wait, is this continual light or is this? Regular light. It, it, it has a duration. Uh, it's one hour plus one turn per level. Okay, so, <laughs> so effectively forever. forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Demon Commander, first roll of the game. Saving throw is not that great. Does he get like a minus two or something though? Uh, well, that is really important because he rolled one above what he needed. Is there any yeah. reason he would get a minus two? Shouldn't or be you just like being, hoping the wrong, being in the wrong plane or something. Uh, yeah. Those adjustments have already been made to their characters. All right. Uh, nope, nothing? Okay. 
So the oh, light nice. spell will illuminate the area around the commander, but not permanently blind his eyes. Okay. A nice try, Dwight Hard. Sorry, right, I uh, got another. <laughs> next player. Uh, next dwarf. Are these both of our shielders over yep. here? Yep. No, okay. I'm a halba. I'm a halba. Oh, you're out. Right. Okay. I'm the shield shielder back, back here. here. I I, uh, I thought we were holding up the stairs, but I can move down to, to you. Yeah, if you like. Run forward to the yeah, train. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and just move up here, and I'm gonna prepare an attack for the first dog that that runs up to us. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Then 60 feet. Your combat move is gonna be 60 feet on the map if you don't want to take penalties. Right. Mechanically, Neil. Without an attack or something. Could me and the other shield dwarf like hold our shields up in a way where we are holding back the dogs, but people could like um, stab under or like to the side? You're talking about a shield wall. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that would be overlapping your shields together, standing in a proper formation. It'll, I believe, increase everyone's AC in the shield wall by one. Do we want to do the shield wall? Can you still attack uh, if you're doing the shield wall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, but then yeah, yeah. Let's do that. yeah, yeah. Okay. It has we, we a link penalty shields? to hit that I don't remember. But not for us behind with the halberds, so. though. That should be fine. Oh, no. That okay. should be yeah. fine. That should be Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, if you do the mechanical shield wall and want to get an AC benefit to it, there are penalties, but we can... Are there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want to do the full on shield wall and get a bonus to AC, you get penalties to hit. Well, we don't really? need the bonus to AC against the dogs. We're, I mean, really, the. We're the, just trying to hold them back. Like, we don't care that much about the, the plus one to AC, do we? We're, we're doing yeah. it more for the, the physical yeah. blocking of the, yeah. of the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, if you want to say um, you want to just be blocking the entrance more than shield walling or anything like that, uh, what would you. How would we like to rule that? It's no ruling, it's just no they, ruling. What do you yeah, mean? It's just, so you're just gonna be standing there, okay? Yeah, and there's yeah, probably gonna be some there. cover for the guys behind, but anyways, mm -hmm. um, there's no, yeah, there's no range attack, yeah. so it's probably not gonna matter. Who's got that crossbow? Uh, I will, I'll shoot. I have one on my character sheet, cool, right? Right, and I'm gonna try to shoot the this gate breaker on his flank. You're gonna try and shoot him on his flank, yeah? I have the perfect angle, yeah? Look at him, he's. Facing up. Yeah, he's not looking at me. It looks like you can shoot him in the ass. <laughs> they are facing your direction. Oh, it's the pain in the ass to move them. every single token oh to rotate God. every single fucking demon every time they move. All right. They're. I will change the game oh, breakers for he, you. Though. He rolled a twenty-six. Yeah. So. How, how much like a natural twenty? Oh God. Oh my God. Really roll a twenty-six? Are yes. all of our like? Do we have like mithril bolts as well? You should. If it's the yeah, character that I, I made, and it specifically says mithril bolts. Well, you it's, hit him and you clear they, by six, so you crit him. <laughs> Roll so me it triple damage, right? Because it's blast yeah. and it's a crit. Wait, it's quadruple, isn't it? When you crit with your phase weapons, they do. It, it'll be four times, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you crit and then you double it plus all. Four. Roll yeah. the dice. Oh, it stacks no. up. Wow. Okay. Maybe plus five if it's sharpened. Might as well be sharpened. Uh, yep, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. All right, the oh look at that Easy. gatebreaker will take a crap ton of damage as this mithril bolt sails from the sky and hits it right in its neck. Uh, any other players have an action this round? Biggie will ready his attack. Yeah, me too. Readying attacks. Yep. Okay. Readying attack. That's. All right, let's roll initiative. Should I just keep rolling? Just keep rolling. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, it's on you, Ryan. Oh gosh, getting lower. Uh, okay, the commanders will, the demons will go first again, and the gatebreakers will continue their jaunt in this direction, walking at normal pace. They've got movement 18, so they can get pretty far, uh, and that is when our thongs will join in the fray. The first one will come right up here, and I believe you guys have some ready to tax. We do them like one at a time, or do we all have to attack like? No, you can just go one at a time. Well, we might as so, well do it now because. Uh, 18. Lucas will hit with an 18. Nice. For 10. And uh, that blast, double. so it should deal an extra d8. Okay. You drop uh, one of these guys. Okay. Good. All right, and it's go sharp, so there's an extra plus one. Is that not? Yeah, okay. The Next sharpness, one? I guess, is not added. Uh, I got a 29. 29 will definitely hit and clear by a, a whopping 13. Okay, so it's 
double, it's a super crit. So it's so, three times damage and then you then double the double, end result. So six yeah. times damage. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's uh, six D <laughs> Hold 10. on, he could roll six ones. <laughs> 60, 10 plus, I forgot what my, it's plus four, I think. For my and roll. is this the yeah. hellish halberd? Yes. Okay, it doesn't it matter, has, but you it, also, it also has like oh, yeah, it takes 41 damage. You also bleed. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. It you also bleeds for an extra damage. <laughs> hack through the thong without any problem. Uh, your holy weapons of Sayer are specially designed for slaying demons from other planes. Um, oh, and Redbeard Ruin, no. Oh. No, all the over all the names are messed up. I'll fix it later. The next thung runs in. Um, and does anyone else have a ready to attack? I think I saw yeah. Jax go off. I had the, Oop. At the thirteen. So thirteen um, is gonna be a miss. You swing at the creature and whiff it, but Nick's eighteen will hit. Is it plus four for damage? Yeah, is that right? Should be, because it's plus three for mastery, and then I have seventeen strength, and I think all the halberdiers do. All the halberdiers have plus one for strength. Yeah, but and it's got an extra plus one damage for sharpened, right? So it be... Yes. Oh, so plus not, five. I think the plus sharpness five. is the only thing that's not included. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so 13. Damage. We'll drop another one of these thongs. No problem. Uh, but they are near to limitless. The next one will come on up and try and... Uh, now that all the attacks have resolved, this one is climbing up the shield. It is going to provoke an opportunity attack from this dwarf in particular as it tries to scramble up and over. Top or bottom, I couldn't see. Bottom one. That'd Got be it. a 27. That will definitely hit. It uh, will clear by 10. You will single crit the the thong. So. As it tries to scramble over you. I haven't played two in a while. Uh, Warhammer is 1d4 uh, plus one. Do I double the plus one? Yes, you do. And then I double everything, so it's 44 plus 4, or 2d4 plus 44 plus 4 plus... Your normal damage. The runs. other stuff at the end. Goddamn. Ultra Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> when, death only 15 pity. damage. All right, that'll drop another one. There's still four. And this one's just going to come up straight and attack the dwarf on the top. Now, Neil, these bodies are piling up in front of the stocky dwarves. Do we get a cover bonus from the bodies of the dogs? Potentially, eventually, but not quite yet. Uh, the, these things are... This is a 10-foot wide area. How many dead dogs can you lay down in a 10-foot wide <laughs> passageway before you start getting cover? Well, it's a lot of out. dead dogs, you know? You'd have to go to PETA to get that many dead dogs. Um, anyway, the first dwarf, the first thug will attack the top dwarf for a 12 to hit, which is no good. This one will attack the bottom dwarf for a 23, which I believe will hit the bottom dwarf. Who's the bottom dwarf? Uh, that is me. That is, yes, that hits. Yes. You will take five damage as the thung chews Ouch. into you. Um, let's turn down the combat music just a wee bit. All right, and these two other dogs are going to try and slip up and over again. They will climb on the backs of the others. So this top dwarf, you get a dog trying to crawl on top of you, and the bottom dwarf, you get a dog trying to crawl on you. 28 will hit and crit and kill. Don't even bother with the damage. <laughs> and bottom dwarf, another opportunity attack as a thung tries to crawl over you. For a 16. That is exactly its AC. Um, oh, oh my god. This one has literally two HP. Yeah, it's uh, and dies. All right. So there are two thongs still in the front, but the other ones have been hacked to death as they try and climb over you. Uh, and that is when our toadies will keep running at breakneck speed. Movement speed six. So if they do a full out run, they can go 180 feet as they huff and puff and chug their way over here. Um, we're actually gonna break them up a little bit. This and some like bastards. Okay. And our regular size demons. Seeing you all so distracted over there, they will burst into a run or a, uh, a charge, I guess, and charge over here. So we oiled this cliff, right? I don't think so. I don't know if when you guys got the call to come over here, 
Zweihard was like, oil, boys. Lots of vegetable oil. <laughs> that was, that was my wonder. Was like, do we, do we have enough oil by volume to do this? I don't think so. Okay. But it's a nice thought. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm parking a dwarf climbing Reasonably. around. That's dependent on many things. No, but like I'm just trying to estimate how many rounds we the demon scale here. Like one or? Uh, that 30 foot cliff will probably take them two rounds to climb. Okay. All right. And these demons oh, will wow. just continue their walk to here. And this group will continue their walk to here. And uh, they are specifically trying to give their their commander some cover. So these guys are like crowded around him, like secret service agents around the president. Um, so any attacks on this guy, on the, the commander, have lots of cover. Uh, and that will be the end of the demon's turn, which brings us to our player characters. Um, I guess I can go first. I'm just going to attack the thong in front of me. Excellent. For 12. That is a miss. Thing this one is gripped on to you. Halberd boys go. Yeah, all right, I'll do a... Yeah. I'll do a whole load of fuck. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, nice. That's right. Get all the good rolls out of the way right now. Which dwarf? Which thong are you killing? The one to the bottom. No, the one to the top. Sorry. And then I'm going to use my uh, this one. And then I'm going to use my movement to run to the other wall. Oh. Uh, okay. You your movement rate is six, so you can go sixty feet at a walk, um, or so for you know ninety feet move. if you want to run. Slightly, uh, 120 yeah, okay. feet if you want a full-on run. You know, whilst attacking, can I go 60 then? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You can also go 90 and charge after. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can, <coughs> since you're not provoking attacks. Yeah, there's, there's no reason not run. to charge in this case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to hit. Okay, any other dwarves? Yeah, um, can I if... move here now? Oh. Can they still attack? Uh, the... Yeah, yeah, with the crossbow. You can yeah. stalk on over as you reload your crossbow. That's got to be a flank. This yeah. is a is flank. Is this a yes. gatebacker still looking at me, Neil? Is he still looking? He is looking <laughs> up this way. You've got a flank so attack. Go back got attack. Flank attack. Oh, okay. He's got lower AC, though. All right. It's, yeah. This is a plus one on the attack, then. Okay. So yes. 24 yes. is going to hit. Is it clear by 26. 10? No. It has 20 AC. No, uh, but on the behind. flank, it has less. Hold on, I gotta look up these. Oh, it has rules. less AC and not. Oh, just let's go. Because it's got a big front frill. Oh, okay. Um. Oh no. Okay, so it's twenty AC. The frill gives it twenty-four AC. Okay. So this <laughs> one. So this is a hit, but not a crit. I think I had its AC wrong for the first attack. Eleven points of damage, which is great. Unfortunate for our gatebreaker. That's why we have two this time. <laughs> right. Other um, dwarves? I will um, cast light. Um, I think the commander is still the one to disable, although I'm tempted about these gatebreakers. So, another saving throw versus spell for the commander. Oh boy. Yeah. It's an interesting choice there between the AOE petrification, save or die, or the commander. Yeah. yeah. 17 on the die. Commander yeah. is fine but I think he has an enemy now. Uh, other dwarves? Um, I'm gonna attack this thing right here, and then I'm gonna move up to the top. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. It's a plus 11, uh, 26. Definitely hits. I, I assume this thing is gonna die here. So it's it has six plus. hit points. I don't think it can survive. Yeah. Yep, it drops as well. There are now eight dead thongs at the front doorway. Oh, that's... Yeah, Horse no, that's, dog, that's should we follow tool. you? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Binky asked Horse dog, <laughs> we should follow us. No, 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 wait here. Hold the line. I, I would actually I, like how to how move the, like, the... Oh, right, 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 uh, so the, the, from where? From over here? I'm standing, I'm standing right here. Like I can, I could, I could climb up on this wall feasibly, right? 
Okay, so the, the wall height relative to where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably a 10 foot wall, I would say. And there's oh. a couple of arrow loops out okay, of it. Okay, so it's, so it's not like a low wall, it's a high wall with like arrow slits? Right, oh. right. It's like okay. a collapsed tower, and uh, part of it is still up-ish. Okay, so there's nowhere where there'd be like a low wall that I could feasibly climb over. Mm, no. You're a dwarf, you don't climb. <laughs> I was I was thinking about jumping and trying to mount this other gate breaker. But, uh... Uh, it would be a climbing check to get over any of these walls. Hmm. I mean, I have the time. Sounds badass. Do it. Yeah. We 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 need to not get petrified by the gate breaker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll try and make a quick climbing check. It's dexterity, right? It's going to be dex plus strength divided by three. And then there are going to be some modifiers on top of it. Okay, yeah, worst case scenario, I fall on my ass like five feet off the ground. Sure. Um, how much movement did you take to get there? Uh, that's a great question. I used up... Uh, that's most of his. I think that's like 60. I used up 60 of my 90. Okay. So uh, the wall is badly eroded brick or stone, so you'll get a plus six on top of your... Doing some math here. Thing. Oh wait, I have to roll my math. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So overall plus fourteen. Because sure. my strength plus dex divided by three is eight point three, and then right. I get a plus six because of the circumstances. So yep. that's a pass. That's a pass. You will stagger up. Yep. Uh, so I, I kind of like wait like partially over the wall, um, like, and I'm gonna kind of like boom. survey what happens here, and then I'll I'll make the decision about whether or not to jump based on based on what they do in their next round. And what's your weapon? Halberd. A halberd. Yeah. Climbing okay. with a halberd. <laughs> You're not. Aren't you the sledgehammer guy? No, no, no. I'm a halberdier. You're a halberdier. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, it said halberd. If I have a sledgehammer, I was not notified of that. <laughs> okay. So I thought I gave someone a sledgehammer instead of a halberd, and I thought it was someone you. Someone has a warhammer, I think. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's fine. Uh, it, they're all interchangeable for mm -hmm. our purposes. Uh, any other player actions? Is it's it hard to move down the stairs, but... Is it, is it wise to have two dwarves next to each other here now that the gatebreak is about to catch you both? Hold the line! <laughs> Uh, I, everyone's gone? Everyone's gone. I, no, no, we no. don't know no. that the gate breaker is Oh, I'm sorry. I Let's will try. ready an attack. Excellent. Right. Okay. Let's get that next initiative roll and... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. Ryan, it's like you're trying to lose this game. <laughs> Incompetent dwarves. S slow. Okay. I was trying to Our get up to do that protection from evil, but... Our first gatebreaker will make his first appearance. And provoke an OA? Um, I only Someone had a ready action. OA. Right? Or, so not provoke an OA, someone had a ready to action, right? Right. I no. had a ready to action at the front, but yeah, depends if it steps in range. Uh, first, is, it is going to breath weapon from, it has to step back to hit both there, of you in its cone. There is a, a mention, bit. Neil, that you can step five feet with a melee weapon and it's not considered a movement. You can take a five foot step was Big something ish. that's mentioned in the combat and tactics. Not in a ready to action, I don't think, though. I don't, I Do you don't have a halberd, or are you a sword board? Well, sword it's, board. Not, it's not for me. It's for them if they have ready to actions. I attack last round. I don't have one. I have a ready to action, so if I can step five feet, I would. Yeah, so if he, like, if this thing is, like, coming up and planning to do a breath weapon, I imagine he would have a chance to step forward and try and hit it before it It looks it to me up. like it's up a hill and around a corner. I feel like it has to like box. turn its head around and actually go it's right up next to them to like get up the hill all the way. I guess there's a landing. What, what are you talking about? Are you saying it can't not cannot be in this position? It can, but it's like downhill. See if Whatever. I can find the I'm not sure what it's. Yeah. yeah, can you find that? Because I don't recognize that ruling. Yeah, I don't remember if it was about doing like multi attacks and you can step five feet between multiple attacks or something. I'm trying to I'm trying to pull it up right now. Too many Lying around. Uh, it's not, rules I don't think it's books. worth. I think on a ready to action, you probably can't like step and attack if it's like attacking from range. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it will open up with a breath weapon on the two of you. So make a save versus petrification or be petrified, and we'll lose two dwarves right here. Oh, God. So I just click the petrification button, yeah? Yes. Yeah, there's a plus one for bless. Did dwarf bonuses apply here, Neil? 
It should... Ooh, because dwarves Ooh. get a bonus really against toxic, magic, right? It's a toxic breath, right? And it's spells. also a magical breath. It's a magical yeah. breath. So you'll get plus four and then plus... You said you the get another con. plus one from bless, did you say? Yeah. Plus yeah. Why did... Did, yeah. Does, was there a bless spell that went off on our players? Zwei, my perma bless, or my Zweihard's grips. Does Zweihard's grips give you plus one on your save? It acts per bless spell. I mean, I, I think the oh, plus right, 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 right. I think I like just, it's probably cast on their shields as well or something for their armor. Right, lasting for one. Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. So you'll yeah. be making your saves up plus five then. Very lucky dwarves. Easy. Oh no. Uh, no, because that's no, plus, no, no, the five's no, not included no, in there. No, okay, we're good, we're good. Sorry. All right. All right. Oh, I am gone. But Ooh. you are gone, Jack. Are you bottom dwarf or top dwarf? You're bottom dwarf, I am right? bottom dwarf. Oh, my God. Well, I'm, you have been turned to stone. Oh, my God. All right. You get to help me play demons now, and we'll help kill people. You are Matthew Burger 2.0. Um, I'm gonna give you control of some of these guys down here, and you can fight uh, with bottom demons. Uh, all right, so that guy uses his breath weapon. It is gone. There's a good breath weapon usage. You are turned to stone. How do we do that? Perfect. And the next one lumbers up here and we'll step forward any no nope. there's no attack that oh god the ready unless attack, there's like an attack but... of opportunity but no yeah oh my god uh, uh, it, it's got to squeeze into like you can't shit, fit two it's gate huge, breakers Neil. there yeah, yeah. i made a play that one. to put a gargantuan on the map no mistakes were made i clicked the wrong button and it became <laughs> like a thousand feet wide <laughs> fine Bring him back slowly but surely. Uh, still too big. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So this other one is coming into place and is squeezing. So he'll suffer some penalties. I think this one was here. And he'll make his attack at minus two for the squeeze. So this will only be a ten to hit, nope. which is no good. No chance. No chance. All right. Not against the dwarf. Not against Binky. Uh, exactly. Coming on down. Uh, where do we go next? Let's do our th toadies. These guys are gonna keep running <laughs> and make it up these steps, sort of. Um, these toadies are gonna come up the same way. And these ones are going to uh, come over here. Hang out over there. Leaving us with just our commander group. Who's gonna make their way to the front. Uh, in fact, they're going to kind of come over to this wall and hold against the wall with secret service demons guarding the commander. Okay, PC's turn. All right, let me start. Oh, wait a minute, I'm cast. sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. I forgot these guys down here. Uh, so Jack, I'm gonna give you control of some demons and uh, kill them, please. Uh, it's gonna take him two rounds to climb the wall was what you said though. So yeah, the first. did you say two or three? Two rounds. Four. So let's make some climbing <laughs> checks. Uh, there we go. You should have control of those. I've already done the math. The demons have a 50-50 chance to succeed on a climb. So. Very convenient. Mm -hmm. um, hey. It's on you. Let me see what ones I have. Okay, these guys over here. These, are hey. these, is it possible for these boys to climb up to this tower? Uh, no, those like... boys are gonna stay. They're, they got their own plans. I'm gonna give you these guys, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These nine at the bottom are you. Okay, well, they're gonna keep climbing, so I'll roll a D2 for each of them, I suppose. Uh-huh. Starting from left, two is a success. Let's see, failure. Can't make it, can't make it. This one gets up part way, fail, fail. Climb, climb, fail, fail. 
I'm on fire. Okay. Woo! Okay, now it is uh, PC's turn. All right, uh, let's start with a softened earth and stone. I get six of these 10 foot squares. So we're gonna do like one. Uh, why is this not copying? Uh, this is frustrating. Uh, it's basically gonna be this whole area. How many 10 by 10s do you get? Six. Can you easily give me a bunch of tokens or something? Yeah, yeah. Or I can just rough, uh, maybe I'll just freehand draw it. Uh, each One, of these squares is two. five, a uh, two and a half by two and a half, by the way. It's, it takes. Oh, okay, so even more. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll basically be this whole area. So six, 10 by 10, that's 60 square feet. So if it's like 20 feet by like 30 feet. Okay. It's basically, I think it's going to be this whole thing. Not our dwarfs, though. Sure. All so right. you just soften earth and stone across the whole front. Yeah, and we, yeah, and it should be wet. We mentioned wetting it beforehand, wet enough yes. to make it mud when I cast the spell. Um, All right. Creature, any creature caught within the mud when the spell takes effect must make a saving throw versus paralyzation, or lose the ability to move, attack, or cast spells for one to two rounds as they fly. Move, attack, or cast spells. What yep. sort of bullshit ability is this? I it's it's amazing. I've been waiting for a chance to use that for like <laughs> two years in hardcore here. All right, make so let's make a uh, saving throw. Okay, versus petrif petrification. Spell? Petrification. So this paralyzation, is paralyzation. Sorry, paralyzation. All right, this is wounded gatebreaker first is a success. Full fledged <laughs> gatebreaker is a failure, ha -ha. and then we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight toadies, nine toadies, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and they will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Lon, do those gatebreaker saves, are those right? Is it a save versus spell? There's no way toadies have got 10. Yeah, sure. there's something is it's... off on here. I think the toadies saves are off. It's, it must have been recorded. Wrong. Paralyzation, but yeah, they're they've got first level saves. I think I, they just got it input be, wrong. I think everything except for that one that rolled a twenty would fail. Then they should. They need a fourteen to pass. Oh really? Hmm. Yeah, not a ten. So, so two toadies pass. Okay, two pass. Two toadies and the wounded gatebreaker. All right, those that fail are disabled for two rounds. Okay. And even those that pass can only move 10 feet per turn. And this is going to last forever. This whole area is just mud. So n anything... They can't act for two rounds, but then after that, they can keep going. But the whole area yeah, is... At a, at a move. The whole at area, a this, area rate. this area is mud, and it will... Uh, it's slow movement rate for everyone. It's basically difficult terrain. Well, super difficult okay. terrain. All right. Other players? And, yeah, I'll, um, and I'll all right. close the line to bolster Moon. Yeah. Um, We're just staying here then, Zweihorn. Hold the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'll right. attack, Take I guess. down the gatebreaker. Yeah. yeah. I'll attack the gatebreaker. Yeah. Um, no. You want to save versus death, Neil? Uh, 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 hold, wait, what? I gotta yeah, make a saving throw versus death. Yeah, yeah, make it. At plus one. Oh, no. He oh, slips in the mud. <laughs> giving me another one, Mr. Moon. Every time you roll a one. Okay. okay. So you end up in the mud somehow. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it is that you did, but you tried to make a step forward. You grab a horn. It kind of tosses its head around. You get slung around to over here through a series of unfortunate events. Yeah. And uh, go ahead and give us a saving throw. Uh, that's only if, if you're, you're caught with the spell. Oh, okay. Back. Only when it first goes off? Yeah. So right. it, it doesn't disable him, but you can only move 10 feet. Forever? Okay. Or just... Uh, until you get out of the mud. Okay, until, until you get, you get out, out of the mud. So you can, yeah, you can move yeah, out of the next it. turn. All right. Okay. So Great plan. Action. Wrestle the Gatebreaker. Am I able to use movement this turn or no? No, this is going to okay, be it. This is your... Two words. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, I moved down here. I jumped down the stairs. 
and then come to here. I've got a halberd right now, so I can jab this guy as he's trying to climb up. Uh huh. Now, there's a, a non zero chance of him trying to like grab the halberd and pull me off, but I'd argue that's a very, very small chance. Why would you even bring that up? Yeah, well, it's glad he odds no way. Way. In fact, he you did. want him to do that because then you get an attack of opportunity against him at like plus four, and then <laughs> yeah. he touches. And also, and like, he literally be burns. grabbing like a spike as you jab it through his hand. Like, yeah, all right, let Neil play his job easier. He wants to do it. <laughs> Actually, okay. I think these are uh, oh, these yeah, are jacks. Yeah. These are mine. <laughs> Take the opportunity attack. You're trying to um, bait me. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> give us a saving throw versus death, Nick. No. And don't fail. I would rule that a failed save allows me to grab that help. <laughs> or that's falls. It. That's, that's gonna be all right, isn't it? I think that's. Pass. Yeah. I'm nervous. Nervous. It's uh, yeah, you're 11. Nine. You know. Yeah, you're fine. Easy. Yeah. yeah no problem. All right. Wild miss at the the demon below you. I guess second attack this round then. Okay. I don't know if you want me to do it now, since it should be it's the end of the round, basically. Uh, this is the end of the round. So go ahead and. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. 19. Will hit our demon friends. He also has high ground bonus, I think. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus one, one hit. for high ground. And then also it's climbing, it's so climbing. it can't really evade in any way. That's a hit. Yeah, yeah it's a hit. I'm just, I'm just wondering if you can get a crit. No, it's, it's not going to clear by Ted, but <laughs> close. Uh, all right, and Jack, give us a 50% chance of uh, a climb check, 50-50, of him falling. Who? What? The demon. the demon climbing. Yeah, because okay. he got hit while he's climbing, so he's got to make his he's climb fine. check again. He's, Woo! He's holds fine. on. Okay. Lovely. Um, so for my move here, we really got to kill these gate breakers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... This wall is only like 20 feet long, right? So I can take it nice and slow and be safe and like clamber along this thing. Like along this? So you'd have to climb down I cl I already and then climbed up. up. I, I thought that I thought I had to climb that wall to get to this wall. So you got to climb up this wall. Which I did. But then this wall down here is lower. This wall is just a 10-foot oh. wall off of this bottom, and this is a 10-foot wall above. So okay, there's so a 10-foot 10 10 climb feet. down and then over. I already okay. rolled a climb check. Wasn't that? Yeah, like I can climb this wall, right? Because I already rolled just, the climb sure. check. I'm just so I feel like he already climbed off. I mean, he could have just walked around. So Another 10 problem. feet and then I did not. Climbing I over assumed it. that it was on the same height. But you can just walk, right? You can like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because it's only climb, 20 feet and I get climb 60 down to here, a long And then attack. you can just walk. Yeah, yeah, so you climb down 10 feet and you climb over 20 yeah, feet. Yeah, and it's only 20 feet. Why yeah, does yeah. he need to climb over? He can just walk over. Yeah, climbing on the, the top move. of the oh, okay. wall is okay. what I'm saying. It's like okay. the wall is a, a, a narrow, unstable perch, and it would be the equivalent of climbing to move along yeah. the top of it. So, because these things have like face plates on the front that give them extra AC, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, looks like you can get a flank. So, I think it's, it looks like it's facing off with Zweihard right now, right? And it's flailing around. Yeah, line. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump from here and try and land on this thing's back and like jam my halberd into it as I'm landing. Um, Cause I've, I've got awesome. a hand axe after that, right? Absolutely, give me a dex check to do it. Okay, uh, would, it, would it just be an attack roll? Uh, well, I'm it's a dex just... check to land on the okay. back of the creature. To land on it. Are you yeah. my dexterous you... halberdier or not? I, I'm not dexterous. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> one of the halberdiers, I think, has 16 dex. Or maybe that was oh, one no. of those. That's no, one of the that shield guys. Shielders. Okay, yeah. that's a shield no, I've got I've got eight dex, so we'll see how this oh, goes. No. Uh, that's a pass. Okay. Oh, my God. Exactly right. a pass. Get us, get us a mega crit. Yeah, so it has minus four to AC because it can't move, right? Uh, I don't think there's AC. The spell doesn't list AC penalties. Okay, um, but I do have high ground, which is what, plus one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we've got a 21 to hit, which should hit. That will do it. You land on the back of the monster All and right. jab your halberd into its spine. Yep. So it's going to take plus five damage here. Uh, it takes 20 points of damage to start out. Nice. And then I pull out my hand axe and get ready to start hacking into this thing until it finally dies. <laughs> I'll be Actually, I think I get a second like attack this round. Can I do that with my hand axe? No. Wait, with your halberd you takes two halberd. weapons. Hmm? Did you oh, get I, a can I like, pull my halberd out and just keep jabbing it into it? Is that fine? No. Yeah, right. Uh, you yeah, you stab it, right? right? Yeah, because it's not moving, right? Like, I, I, I'd probably want to like have a hand for purchase later, but right now it's like lying in the mud immobile, so it's it's probably safe to do that. If you want to keep using your two-handed weapon, that's fine, but you'll have nothing holding on to it, right? Okay, yeah, I'll do it this round and then switch over to the hand next round to be to be a little bit safer. Okay. Um, but this round, yeah, I'll take the second attack. 
you made one attack last round, right? You attacked and then you climbed up, and yep. then this round you climbed and attacked. Yeah, so yep. another attack roll. Uh, that's gonna miss. Yeah, even with bonuses for being on its back is not gonna work out. Um, its hide is tough, and even though it's stuck in the mud, it's sort of like throwing itself around trying to get you off of it. So you, I think you have to, mm -hmm. you end up having to hold on to its frills to yeah. not fall. So I think it's like a last thing there. I'll throw my halberd back behind the lines here, and I pull out the hand axe instead so that I can make purchase. All right, you chuck your halberd away. Uh, coming down over here to... Right. One last dwarf, right? Yeah, yeah one I, more dwarf. I should also have my second attack, I think, if I can have okay. it, if not then. I think you failed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you lighter. fucked up, it's too bad. Okay. You rolled two ones in a row. <laughs> You're wrecked. That's fair. Um, I'm gonna move uh, 80 feet here, so I'm running, and uh, attack this demon. Okay. You jog on over, reach down with your weapon, and exactly hit it. Roll some damage. Oh, and one more d10. Yep. One more d10. And plus one for the sharpness. Oh. Four. That's a 15, bringing the demon to one hit point. Safe. That's if there's yeah, another gotta save, Neil. Oh, oh glad you. And uh, there's yeah. a penalty to climbing if you're at less than half HP. There is. Any fall. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. It doesn't He's matter if there's a penalty. He take dies. Take falling damage and dies. Oh, All right. That's over. All right. It's initiative round, I think. Um, yeah. L uh, let's do initiative right now, and then we'll take our first break after okay. the initiative roll. Can I ask, Neil, if it's uh, rained recently in this area? It has oh. probably not rained, but I'll give you a 10% a chance that it has, but probably not. No. No. Okay. So okay. I think it's only wet where we prepped wet, which is probably yeah. that front line and then maybe the, and then maybe the back. But anyways, um, initiative. Initiative. Yes. Oh, one. One. Let's go. Oh. We got it, boys. Good job, Ryan. You have one out of four. I don't know what happened to our commander's HP. There we go. Well, we're going to take our first break here as the battle starts to heat up, and we will see you guys on the other side of our break. Bye-bye.